All right. Uh, let's now let's get this guy on here. Uh, I'm, I'm a little in intimidated because he has a bigger hat than me. Yeah, he's. I think if both of our hats were combined, still, it still wouldn't be. Still he could fit both of our hats. In his hat. Yeah, I think so. And, and that's what big, cowboys and do. And huge burgers we just yeah. made. I think we can fit those inside his hat. And look, it's True Blue. What up, True Blue? What's up, what's up, what's up fellas? Yo. What's, how you doing? Hello. How you doing? How's it going? Hey, it's going great now, brother. All right, well, I'm going to. I love make, that Do you have man. all your possessions? <laughs> uh, you don't hear about kids. Hey. They were. They got spurs, boots. They got a lot of places to hide shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hat, Cowboys people. A lot of Definitely, shit especially in the hat. Yeah, That's right. Exactly. <laughs> We're not gonna actually lift that hat, hat up. Man. Whole bunch of stuff. I can put it around. I can put it inside. It either way. Nice. Love it. I love dope. it. All right. True <laughs> blue. What's going on, my you friends? You are a Cowboys fan, correct? Yep. 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 I, I couldn't tell. You know, if he was not a Cowboys fan, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> poser. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, no, you're not a poser. You're real. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, True Blue. Uh, I hail from the state of Texas, of I, course. Great, that's good. I yes. was born and raised a Cowboys fan from my father's, and uh, just been going ever since '77, man. Ever since '77. Yep, I was born the day we won uh, Super Bowl twelve. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so here's the story. I, I, I you know, this is yes. a crazy story. Yes, okay. I get it. I, I, I story. like crazy so, stories. So, you know, Super Bowl's coming up. Yes. Mom's pregnant. All right. Dad says, you got two options. Either you have our son now, or when the Super Bowl's on, I'm going to the bar. <laughs> so, mom's sitting Love there it. panicking. Here comes 3 o'clock in the morning. I come out on, you know, Super Bowl 12 day. Wow. So, dad, of course, is at the hospital. Yeah. He leaves at 7 in the morning to go to the bar after I was born. <laughs> that, had to have been, that had to have been the greatest day of his life. It was. And you know what? Literally. Literally. He has a, he has a son, he has a son and, and a and win. And the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. Yep, against and the Denver remember, Broncos. You remember when the Bears won a Super Bowl? Yeah. I don't. I wasn't born then. I wish that had happened for me. Well, I was born. That would have sound great. I was born in 77, <laughs> so. <laughs> I was born in 77, so, uh, yeah, I did see that one Bears uh, Super Bowl. Well, 1985. maybe you can tell me about it sometime, it was I don't know. It was absolutely amazing, and, um, yeah, I remember it like yesterday. Nice. Yeah, you guys clocked the New England Patriots. Yep. That's right. Pass. That's right. Everybody likes when somebody clocks the New England Patriots because <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. Especially when it's from the NFC. Yeah, you know that's correct. <laughs> fuck them. You know what? I like you, Drew, man. Hey, man. Actually, yeah. No, I like but you. You got on You're Michael. You got Irvin jersey. That's yep, right. this is Irvin. Nice. Nice. Irvin's my man. Yeah, well, I like he was Irvin. fantastic. Yeah, he so was. I give you, I give you that. I'll give you that. You've had a lot of good players. Yes. I think the Bears have had more Hall of Famers than the Cowboys, though. I'm pretty uh, sure that, bears, that, that bears could be debatable. That could be debatable. I don't know if it's debatable because it should be a statistic somewhere. <laughs> it uh, should be a statistic. I don't know what the statistic is, I mean, but I'm pretty sure the Bears have a lot I'll tell of you what, we go back. So Mike we Irvin gotta, is a good one. Oh, yeah. We have to go back, though. I mean, we haven't That's had true. recent, like, really superstars. Like, Erla you know Erlacher. 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 Is Erlacher. Like that. Erlacher. True that. True that. <laughs> he just got back all of his hair. He's got to be in. Yeah, this, <laughs> How did that happen? He was restored. Because, you know, those dumbass billboards? <laughs> yeah, he's rocking the hair now. He doesn't look like hey, himself. Yeah, I don't yeah, even feel like nah, he's as tough not, as he used to know, be. A he was guy. tougher without the hair. Bro. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he's all, like, fancy-fancy. So, True Blue. Yes, sir. You got to answer this question, man. How are you feeling about your coach right now? Is he in the hot seat or what, man? Well, of right. course he's going to be in the hot seat, just like every other NFL coach. Right. You know, the issue is is there's nothing no fan can do about it. True. And, and, and that's one thing that I always tell all the other fans. There's no reason to put yourself out there if there's nothing you can do about it. And, 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 and like you can't stress words. yourself out. Yeah, you can't stress yourself out about something you have no control. We have are, no control over you, how the game's played or anything. Are you a this fan of Jason Garrett? Would you like to see a new coach? Because I mean, I'm a, I mean, his 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 record says it all. Like you guys are mediocre. Well, we're, yeah, we're, of course we're mediocre right now. You know, but he, he's been a great coach in the past. He's got it. You know, he's got the mentality. He's he still has a locker room, regardless of what everyone else says. You think so? Oh yeah, I know so. Okay. Okay. I do know so. All right. Yeah, and I, I mean, you know, talking with players and everybody else like that, yeah, he still has locker. It, it, every fan wants to jump on the emotions, and I'm right there with them. You know, last week when we lost in our home yet again, I mean, of course we're going to be pissed off. Everyone, you know, was in there yelling, fire Garrett, fire Garrett, chanting that over and over, and I get it. But, again, you have no control over it, no reason you're stressed out. But here's the thing that I always tell fans, who are we going to bring in? That's the same that, thing. That's, that's the biggest point. Same question I try to that answer is, when the yes. Bears like, oh, do we give up on Mitchell? And I'm like, 
what other quarterback is available right now. We don't have the draft picks. Who are we going to bring in? So I understand yeah. what you're saying. Just like how um, Carolina fired um, – um, Ron Rivera. Chico, Ron Rivera. Yes. Former Bear. 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 And it's like, who are you going to bring in? I yeah, bring exactly. in him. him. <laughs> we already spent our time with you, Spent. All right, we're with True Blue now. We're cheating on you. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. That's the thing about football, you know. The guy was there for a good amount of time, got them to the Super Bowl, you know, and, and, and it, it's a business. It is a business. Yes. And, 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 you know, yeah, it is. again, who are we going to bring in? That's always going to be the – you know, everyone, oh. Ron Rivera. Yeah, well, <laughs> I – you know, he's a defensive coordinator. Yeah. I've got two great defensive coordinators. I'd still like to see Chris Rossard move up. Marinelli, you know, he, I, I think Marinelli's been exposed. He's not going to be a head coach again. No, no. He'll, you, after you what he did to Detroit. Y'all go, pro, y'all go promote that young guy. Yeah, Chris Rossard. What's the other one? Which one? Um, Behind the offense. Who's your, who's your defense? Matt, uh, you're talking – who? Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm thinking about – Kellen somebody, Moore? I'm thinking about maybe somebody else from uh, college. So they're talking about – Oh. That. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. I don't want a college coach. Yeah, those don't you, you, always you can con- out. You can control you're... kids. You can't control men. That's true. I mean, look, we just got Antoine Woods. and he, You know, it just came out. He was in trouble again with the law. Yeah. That's a grown man. Yeah. You know, the, a coach can't if, – if a coach can't control a grown man, a guy coming from a college, he's never going to be able to control the, all these this men. That's true. Yeah, if you go take a college coach, I feel like you got to have one of those names, yeah. like uh, Nick Saban, someone that can, can – Man, yeah, they want they want Urban Meyer. You know, yeah, they're, they're gotta, saying Urban Meyer. Like they that. want the they want the coach out of Oklahoma. And I'm just like, that 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 college stuff does not work in the NFL. Well, first of all, why are you going to take a coach from Chip Oklahoma Kelly? and Texas? Chip Kelly, come on, <laughs> come on, that's just bad news bears. Tell yeah, them. yeah, right there. Tell them. Just like our bears are going to be bad news for your Cowboys. Oh game. yeah, yeah. Right. Let's get to the <laughs> shit talk. <laughs> there you go. Enough of the pleasantries. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah come on. All right, so uh, all right, I got a question. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Who's gonna Who's gonna have a better day? The Bears defense or Zeke? I'm gonna go. Zeke. With, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys offense. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, explain yourself. Well, okay. So you know, the past several games, last game in particular. Yes. Where you know against the Bills, Zeke showed, started coming out. Our offensive line started doing something. True. Connor Williams, our our, our guard, you know, got you know hurt with the the knee sprain. Sue Folos in there. And, and, you know, when he went in, he wasn't really producing. He was allowing the sacks. But Zeke started breaking through. That's one thing that hasn't happened all year. And I think, you know, from seeing what I saw last week against the Bills, I think he's going to have an even more explosive. Now, Khalil Max, a grown man as well. Grown man. He, yeah, he's Mom not going to say that about him. He's yes. not going to allow. I mean, I, I was hearing today that he had four men from the Vikings on him, you know, he's blocking. Still, yeah. And yes. he was still succeeding. I get that. Yes. So this is where, where Kellen Moore, our offensive coordinator, comes into play. What do you do to keep away from Khalil Mack as much as possible? I would like I would like to see all of your offensive linemen block Khalil Mack so the rest <laughs> of the guys can just hit Dak Prescott. Well, see, that's that, the thing. That seems like a good strategy, that's doesn't it, Ron? That's a great strategy. Well, well, that's a well, great well, strategy. Well, well, then I've got I've got a tight end. I still got two tight ends. You got old man Witten? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. The guy yes. can still get He's open. Easy. withering Witten. Yeah. What it, is. His Guy still gets wintering. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah God. As amazing as that sounds. He is humongous. Yes. He is humongous. Yep. That's the only reason. He's a great target. route runner. Wasn't he, wasn't he an announcer last year? Last year. Calling he, games? Yeah, and he did not feel comfortable uh, calling games. No, yeah, he did. He, he missed the game. That. He was very bad. Look, I can't have too many goddamn Cowboys announced. You already got Troy Aikman. <laughs> you can't have Witten and all the rest of them. Oh, don't okay? forget Romo. Oh, yeah, Romo. Yeah, Actually, Romo's Tony. good. Romo's very good. But don't you forget Tony's that too good. Uh, don't you forget their guy that Tony Romo hails from Illinois. That's right. Yep. He went to Eastern Illinois. That's so I right. tell you, yep. that's yeah, he a does. Chicago thing right there. Okay, thank you. It's <laughs> true. So we claim. So really, you well. only got Aikman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Troy got what? Three rings though. Yeah, yeah Troy's got, got three that, rings. Got three, so that's cool. And a Hall of Fame ring. And you know what other uh, championship you got is when Emmett Smith won Dancing with the Stars. You have that as well. <laughs> That's to throw true. Into your trophy cabinet. That's true. That's, That's how right. you get voted, man. That's right. <laughs> another is uh, who's better, uh, 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 Zeke or um, holy shit, I just said his name, Emmett Smith. Oh. Which one do you think's better? Emmett Smith. All right, that seems like the easy answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to go on what what's been played against yeah. what's still playing. 
Zeke, Zeke still's got a lot of body of work to complete before he. But but here's an interesting stat you're going to have today. You can have you can have today Dak Prescott at 4,000 yards passing. That's impressive, man. He's crushing. 222 it. yards needed for for 4,000 yards passing. Yeah. I had no idea this kid was going to be slinging it like yeah. that. Yeah, Cooper, year. Cooper just needs 100 with some change. And you know what? I think that's when you guys flipped the switch when y'all got him last year. Oh yeah, definitely. Because he's a difference maker, man. He runs excellent routes. So yeah, he's a great route runner. Gotta, yeah, I like I, I like Amari Cooper. Yeah, I mean, it's like. Chucky was just giving away players last year, man. He gave us Khalil, gave y'all Amari. So it's like that's 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 a good move. Yeah, yeah. But we gonna see what he'll do against our secondary today, man. Oh yeah, yeah, we yeah. And, and you know, on the road, statistically, he hasn't been doing too well on the road. And we gonna make sure that that, that stays, that stays a statistic. Today, yes. But 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 you gotta see who's gonna be covering him. Are they going? Are they going man up? Or are they going? You we know, are they going zone? We got a couple of we, very good cornerbacks. Yeah. And we, Kyle Fuller and Prince Mukamara Makamura Mukamara. But Prince, Prince Kamura, is, Mura. Prince is Mura, 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 Mura. He's game day. He's he's, he's game time decision. Oh. Mukamara? Yeah. Mukamara? Mara? Wow. That's just Maybe. the easiest joke I can think of. His name is so, I know it's a Mukamara, but it's just hilarious. To, it's like it's just it's like yeah. haha dicks. I can't. I can't <laughs> I, 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 a Mukamara and haha dicks. Yeah. I, I mean, come on. We got a bunch of crazy names Two on our good team. Two bears. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you know what? They're both good. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and it's good. gonna come down. You know, the weather's the weather's not gonna be any. If, if there was precipitation, I'd be worried. Well, y'all have you all playing at domes. So you're not used to cold climate. Weather. No, you know, up when I was up in Boston and we lost that game on Sunday, uh, you know, two weeks ago, it was just, I mean, piss ass miserable. Yeah. And when I saw when I saw you know I saw Jason Witten standing around the flames warming up the whole game. You I, knew. I knew right you then knew and there. Then. You was like, this is not gonna be a good game. No, nope. right then and there. Yeah. I said, you know, you got you got men standing around that fire. These you got That's the not, Patriots sitting on the bench, yep. trying like, to cool like off. Yeah, they sitting there like what? Yeah, it's a little wet out here, but that, yeah. that's, this is that Patriot I'm weather. pretty sure Bill Belichick puts all of his players through the, the torture. The, <laughs> oh, yeah, you hear uh, The Navy they, SEALs test. No, they just stand out on a beach no somewhere. Shit, man. On Boston. <laughs> I just get the waves. Some some crabs come up. They got they got a, they got a side hustle over there in Boston. Yeah. The New England Patriots, and it's not just Robert Kraft. They're selling crabs on the side. Um, <laughs> you guys could sell some brisket. You all have some some delicious barbecues. Oh, right? yeah. Is what I know, right? Most definitely. Yeah. All right, let's talk barbecue. So we got this uh, Fire Street barbecue. Have you had any of that yet? No, I haven't. I, oh, okay. He, he was you a, have to have some. Yeah, I, I'll go get know. a sample. Now, what makes Texas barbecue <laughs> <I feel> like... <laughs> Texas barbecue? Hey. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's more of the uh, you know the where the woods from and, and the types of meats that are used you know Texas a lot a lot down there I mean everybody has the brisket you got Kansas City Texas with brisket but the fajita the fajita meat is what's barbecued see, really well down there yeah you just blew me away see I, when it comes to a Texan talking about barbecue dude I just automatically sad with them Texas. I'm just Come saying. Come on, man. have some Chicago pride. We have no, no, no. barbecue. Check it out. Hold on. All right. I'm just saying. We yeah. Any other food category? Yeah, we're crushing. But barbecue, dude, that's tough, man. Texas if you guys bar- ever, if you, go if, 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 I can understand that. So, so last last week's tailgate at Thanksgiving, I brought one of my personal made briskets to the tailgate. Nice. I'd never done that in, in all my years, and I brought one up for Thanksgiving. Cause I knew, and everyone was just freaking out because they've never tasted that. Okay. So if you guys ever make it down to Texas, oh, I'll come down. We're looking you up. Man. Yeah, I'll look me down. up, and I will Bro, make. I'll we'll make you exchange. a 15 pound brisket. Oh shit. Yeah, I had some New England. They were they're from actual London, and oh. they were, they came down and they said, Yo, "What what is this?" First they of go, all, we've had barbecue from Kansas, Chicago. The, the Virginias, the Carolinas, they go, we've never tasted it. And I said, you never will. Damn. All right, you've got your staple meats, but all have right. you had Chicago staple meats? Yes. All right, you know what that is? Yeah. Uh, a, a hot dog. <laughs> or, okay, well, or, NSL hot or, dog, okay, yes, but also. What's even more juicier than that? The sausage? It's that Chicago, <laughs> it's that Italian beef, man. That's right. You had Italian that beef? beef. Have you had a no, I haven't beef? had the Italian beef. And right. my cousin what? was trying to provoke me with that, but I never got it. Oh, you got to get yourself an Italian yeah, you beef, do. sir. Yes, there you, you go. Do. Before you leave Before Chicago, you leave go Chicago. to Portillo's or Al's Beef <laughs> there you go. and get yourself a beef. And Al's then hit beef. us up on social media and yeah. tell us what you think. All, All right, right we'll do, we'll do. Okay, now you have to do it. We'll and then, do. And then you tell us about your barbecue. 
<laughs> Fuck out of here. Some Italian B with Jardinera. I know I keep saying this, Ron, every fucking time we're here, but they, uh, no. That's <laughs> nobody anywhere. Look, look, okay. You go to anywhere in the United States yep. and you say, where has the best barbecue? You might get a, like a, a, North, a South Carolina. You might get a, I don't even, no, it's Texas. You're going to get a You're Texas. You're going to get a Texas. You're going to be Texas. in there. Yeah. You go to somebody around the country and you go, hey, you know about Italian beef? And they go, exactly what Trubo said. Huh? What's that? <laughs> a bunch of Italians have beef? No. No, well, kind of, but it's, <laughs> God damn it. It's fucking delicious. It is. Not nutritious, it, hey. but it is delicious. It puts some pounds. Well, then that, that'll work for me. It'll, it'll, yep. make you, it'll, it'll make you curl up and want to take a little nap after. There you I go. Always, I, awesome. I definitely need to curl up after a, a good a good beef. I had a beef late at night once, and um, and that was not too long ago. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> Kept but you it up all night. Me, it, <laughs> no, it made, well, it made me go to sleep like a baby, but I had the jar in there, so you get the heartburn. It's yep. not good. It's yeah, not no, good. you got to no, be careful no, with no. that. Stay awake You can also do the sweet peppers. So that's fine. But yeah, you got to go check out. We'll I'll, talk after I'll, this podcast. We'll give you some places you go, to go. There you, you go. You let us know. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Moving right along. Uh, one other thing I want to talk to you about is because I've I've been to Dallas. Right on. And and Fort uh, Fort Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Yes. DFW. Yes. I've been to my I've been to a rodeo. Now. Yep. 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 All right. Now, and this is my. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Now I've been to a rodeo, oh, and I got to tell you something. Oh, uh, shit. Now, have you been, have you been to an improv show? Ever. An improv show, improv yeah. Improv comedy? You have? Yes. Fucking awesome. All right, this segment. Yeah, Austin work. has quite a bit of them. All right, oh, fantastic. Okay. How many rodeos have you been to? Uh, Probably around 80, 90. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's real Texan here, man. All right. I used to, I used to, I used to rope. Okay. Shit. Damn. Yeah, I used to rope and ride, yeah. No, I saw that in the rodeo. That shit is not easy, man. No? Well, I guess that, you already know like, the answer to this question. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. The rodeo versus improv. Which is better? What's better? Oh, the rodeo. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I figured that would be yeah, the... Yeah, I mean, 90, 90 plus <laughs> rodeos and like a handful <laughs> of improv? Yeah. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with him. Actually, I'm inclined to agree with you, True you, you can laugh at the improv. That's true. You best not be laughing at a rodeo. Uh, you, you you, you, but, but at least at the rodeo, you can cuss at the at the bull riders, this is true. the clowns. This is true. <laughs> true. Hey, right. We got some. That's yeah, true. Showing us how it's That's done. right. Uh, and, and it's cheaper. <laughs> that also might be accurate, actually. And I'm sure you probably. Well, hold on. Fun. Hold on. You haven't been in any shitty improv. Hey, that's what I say. It's a hit or miss improv. There's, a, there's some yeah. bad. There's some bad, bad improv. improv. That costs nothing. Good um, <laughs> yeah. You actually be like, well, pay me for sitting through that shit. Yeah, exactly. But it's true. I'll tell you. Uh, so I did. I, I went when I was in Dallas and Fort Worth. I did go to a rodeo. I have to tell you that uh, I did not feel like I was on the planet Earth, <laughs> no, nope, or nope. in the United States. Yeah. I understand why you have one star on your flag now, because <laughs> I went to a rodeo and I was like, these people may not be Americans. <laughs> it's like they are definitely just Texans. <laughs> yep, yep, that that's <laughs> these, true. <laughs> your guys are singing the dance. I'm fucking out. I, sw- I swear to God, they're fucking horses around with all that. I was like. I was talking with my buddy. I was like, "Man, uh, where the fuck are we? This is this is bizarre." Because even then, like Fort Worth and Dallas were very different. Like Dallas. Oh, very like, oh, different. Very hey, different. Hey, Dallas. Hey, all right. Oh, I'm in Texas. And then you go to Fort Worth and you go see a road and you're like, "We're in Texas, bro. Yep, yep. We're in fucking Texas." Yeah, now. 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes apart, and told it. Different, different worlds. worlds. Yep. I swear I swear to you, yep. I felt like I went from the East Coast to the West Coast. Yeah, Dallas like is that. oil, Fort Worth is the rodeo. Fucking shit. <laughs> now, do you wear that hat when you go to the rodeo, or do you wear a real? I wear the real one. You wear the real thing? Yeah. Get that like, shit off your head. By that time, you're just like, look, I don't need to be a and fan of a cowboy. Hat. I am a fucking cowboy, okay? Exactly <laughs> right. Fuck yourselves. All right. Very nice. So what's your favorite? So you got into roping. Uh, what was, What? okay, just, at, just to answer me this. What is the hardest thing about roping? Roping is just the timing. <laughs> Sorry. Let the man answer the goddamn <laughs> question. All right, what are you oh, just, just, just timing. Hey, that's real rodeo. Yeah, bull ride, bull ride. Roping is. <laughs> All right. Okay, timing. Hey, we I got you because, because it's running. You got to get the. Yeah, you got to get you got to get that. Now, now, see, I did do I did do saddleback. You did saddleback. Yes, not Ooh. bull saddleback. Okay. That's just where you have right. You know, Standard Not horse, bareback, right? your saddleback. Got it. That's where I saw you're that. trying to get on that horse and you're trying to ride you're, it as long yeah, as possible. Yep. And I, yep. 
I, I saw all of those people doing that. I went, nope, yep. not me. Nope. Uh, I, I gave that up let after me, I got her. Let me her. stay in my apartment in Chicago in the warmth <laughs> and drink beer and <laughs> eat Italian beef. Thank you. That just, just sounds like a lot of unnecessary broken uh, bones, man. You know what I'm saying? I know them boys. Yeah, some, some rough boys, man. It's some tough motherfuckers. A lot yeah. of fun. A lot of fun, though. Mad props to you for that. Uh, okay. All right, Juan, I had I had another question, and then I got off tangents. This, I can't I can't get on tangents. <laughs> you tangent out, man. Now I'm just like now I wanted this is like a research project for me. Now I just want to learn about this shit. Um, okay, now so for so for ro- oh no this was a question. So for Chicagoans that have never been to a rodeo, what would be like your a biggest suggestion? Like all right, you're gonna go to a rodeo, you got to do this. When you're at the rodeo, what well, is the best the best place to go there is in Billy Bob's, Fort Worth. Billy Bob's, Billy Bob's, Fort, Bo- Fort Worth. Billy Bob's. You got you Billy got Bob's. country music. You got Big concert. Yep, biggest right. honky tonk. You got bar. Honky you got every, Yeah, they, so you, you you can you can go dance and then go watch the rodeo. Oh shit! <laughs> All in the God same damn, spot. Billy Bob. Do some square dancing. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever you want, man. Do you know that square dancing was trying to become the national dance of America? <laughs> Did you know that was a thing that happened? Thanks, that Nashville. Thing. Yeah, fucking Nashville. I Nobody likes it. Actually, Nashville's pretty cool. But, uh, all right, man. True, True blue. blue. True Before blue. Before you leave True Blue, what is your prediction for this game? Uh, I'm still going to go 31-17 Cowboys. 31-17 the Cowboys. The score? Wasn't that like the score like back in 16, mm. last time we played, 31-16? to 16? Really? Um, Y'all going to read? Yeah, it's a duplication? True? Come on, man. Pretty close. Damn. Pretty right. close. 31-17. Right. He gave yeah. us one more point. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. I would I would also like to see Trubisky throw at least one more touchdown. That, also, <laughs> that would at least warm my heart somewhat. Yes. But, but here's the thing. Every game this year, we've given points away. Last week against the Bills, the first time we'd driven down and, and actually scored. And, but every other game we've been playing before that, we've been giving up, you know, 7 to 14 points before we, we start before, playing football. Before you even get up. So. All right. Well, that means more points. So, really, it's going to be <laughs> 31-35 Bears is what he's saying. That's exactly like my what hopeful saying. situation is 31-17. But if you all get above 24, that shit off the rails. <laughs> You're, you're a bull I can't catch. Can't rope you. That's it. That's, that's it. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, now, I mean, I don't know. If we were just look at sheer presence, a bear is larger than a cowboy. Yes, he is. So I would say. We're going to maul him. Yep. Uh, you you can, right. but you got to remember, cowboys carry guns. This is true. <laughs> look, bro. Okay, have you seen the revenant? Okay, I don't care how big of a gun you got. Leonardo DiCaprio got his ass mauled by a bear. Okay? A best supporting actor, the bear. All right? Yeah, so yeah, that's that what was... we're going to do. We got our own bear. We got the bear man. We got the bear man. <laughs> yep, you know the, the bear, bear man? man? Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. We'll all go get some photos afterwards. All right, man. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. True yes, sir. blue, True everybody. Blue. All right, man. True blue. Nice to meet Thank you, guys. You. Take care. All right. Great time, That was man. awesome, man. Wow. Pleasure meeting you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Blue light time. Oh, hell, hell and shit. I know, right? Man, damn, he's a cool dude. He's a real I'd love cool to see dude. him. I'd, I'd go watch him in a rodeo. I will watch him in a rodeo. I'd go watch him rope a bear. You know what? That's some new shit Dude, right there. Dude, they're fast. Bears, <laughs> bears are fast. Bears bear are roping. Fast. Check bear us roping. out. Bear roping is going to be happening in the halftime roping. today at the Bears game. That's what the Cowboys defense is going to try and do to the Bears offense. That's right. Is rope them up.